During the restoration of the tomb of St. Jude Wiga in Poland, workers observed a slab that seemed distinct. Intrigued, they decided to lift the section, revealing a cavity filled with charcoal and plaster. As conservators began to remove this mixture, they unraveled the solution to a centuries-old mystery. In March 2020, conservation efforts were underway at the Basilica of St. Jude Wiga in Trebnica, southwest Poland. The renovation, initiated due to concerns about a small crack in a stone sarcophagus, had been ongoing for several years. Witnessing many unexpected discoveries was Merrick Bukazima, the serving mayor of Trebnica, who later shared these findings on the town's official website. Among the revelations were a time capsule discovered during the renovation of the bell tower and burial chambers, with 17th century burials of Cistercian sisters and clergy uncovered beneath the Basilica floor. The town of Trebnica, situated in the historic region of Lower Silesia, holds historical significance in Poland. Known for its association with Polish royals and its religious importance, Trebnica is home to the sanctuary of St. Jude Wiga, also known as Trebnica Abbey, founded by Hedwig of Andichus and her husband Henry I. A member of Poland's Pius dynasty, the abbey has deep-rooted connections to Polish history. Hedwig, who later became St. Jude Wiga, played a crucial role in the abbey's foundation. Legend has it that the sanctuary arose from a promise made by Duke Henry when he survived a perilous incident. Trebnica Abbey, established in 1203, housed Cistercian sisters chosen by the Bishop of Bamberg, Hedwig's brother. Over the centuries, the abbey's abbesses were often members of the Piast dynasty. Hedwig, deeply religious, became a lay sister at the abbey after the death of her husband Henry. Born into a prominent family in Bavaria, her siblings had significant religious connections, with one sister marrying into the French royal family and another becoming the abbess at the Benedictine Abbey of Katzingen. Hedwig's dedication to religion and charity, including caring for the poor, orphans, and widows, defined her life. Despite political challenges faced by Duke Henry, including his detainment by Duke Conrad I of Masovia, Hedwig remained loyal. Henry's eventual rulership over Silesia and the Duchy of Krakow marked a significant achievement. Hedwig's devoutness, humility, as demonstrated by going barefoot against her husband's wishes, and charitable acts became legendary, solidifying her as a revered figure. The restoration work at the Basilica of St. Jude Wiga not only unveiled religious significance, but also added historical value to Trebnica. The discoveries, including the one in March 2020, contribute to the town's rich history, attracting attention and recognition for its cultural and religious heritage. Agreeing to wear shoes after her husband's death, Hedwig opted to tie them to a string, which she hung around her neck instead of placing them on her feet. Coping with Henry's passing through her unwavering faith, she embraced the will of God, stating that their lives belonged to him, dedicting her later years to religion. Hedwig entered a monastery, adopting the monastic habit as part of her new life. Within the Silesia region, Hedwig exerted her influence to propagate religion, inviting clergy from Germany to settle in the area. Her efforts led to the establishment of new towns, cities, and villages. Despite her devotion to religion, Hedwig faced personal tragedies, losing most of her daughters and her surviving son, Henry Q. the Pious, during the Mongol invasion of Poland in 1241. Prepared by a vision, Hedwig identified her son's body on the battlefield without shock. Collaborating with her daughter-in-law Anna of Bohemia, Hedwig founded a Benedictine abbey in Legniki Pole, the site of Henry I's death. Following Hedwig's passing in 1243, her resting place in Trebnica Abbey became renowned for reported miracles, paving the way for her canonization by Pope Clement VI in 1267. Known as St. Jude Wiga of Silesia, she is also referred to as St. Hedwig. Trebnica, her former home, celebrates her feast day on October 16th. Relics of Hedwig are housed in St. Hedwig's Cathedral in Berlin and Andich's Abbey in Bavaria. Originally interred with her husband in Trebnica Abbey, the exact location of her remains was lost over the centuries, 
until the renovation work in March 2020. During the restoration of St. Jude Wiga's tomb, workers repairing a crack in the sarcophagus discovered a peculiar slab from the 1680s. Intrigued, they lifted the slab, revealing a cavity filled with charcoal and plaster. Curiosity led them to chip away at the mixture with tools. Unbeknownst to the conservators, every layer they revealed during their excavation led them closer to a remarkable discovery. Their efforts unearthed a metal object, and upon wiping away the accumulated dirt, a glint of silver revealed itself. The item, identified as a small casket, wore the golden coat of arms of Christina Catters in a Pabasca of Wiersno, a priest in Tripnica during the 17th century. Contrary to initial impressions, the casket did not contain the remains of the mentioned priest. A lead plaque found alongside the casket offered clarity on its contents. The Latin inscription on the plaque disclosed that it held the remains of St. Hedwig of Endica, placed there in the latter half of the 17th century. This revelation marked the end of centuries of mystery surrounding the whereabouts of St. Jude Wigga, who, it turned out, remained in Trebnica. Although historical records lack specifics on the exact location of her new burial spot, experts had long believed it to be within the basilica. Father Peter Field, one of the abbey's priests, remarked on the significance of the find, noting that the bones had likely not been examined since the inscription date of 1764. He interpreted the discovery as a meaningful sign for modern times. Mayor Bugazima, who had previously designated St. Jude Wiga as the patron saint of Trebnica, expressed his personal joy over the discovery on the town's official website and shared images of the richly decorated 17th century sarcophagus. The mayor's post received positive reactions on social media, with users expressing admiration for the remarkable find and the city's connection to St. Hedwig. Following the discovery, St. Hedwig's remains were sent for analysis, along with the accompanying casket. The future disposition of the relics remains uncertain, but regardless of their destination, St. Hedwig's legacy will forever be intertwined with Trebnica. Thanks for watching. Never forget to like, comment, and share the video. And please remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for regular updates.